everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm installing these metal conduits behind what's going to be the tub shower area today. I finally got everything delivered. Uh, the last time I went out to a hardware store was Home Depot, and I got this metal conduit itself, uh, but I kind of did the research about how to assemble them after I bought them, and I realized there were some extra pieces that I really should have picked up. That was my bad, I probably should have done the research ahead of time, but it was a little bit of a rush with like, oh, what are the last things that I might need before, you know, it's hard to go out to the hardware store with coronavirus being everywhere. I think that was my last trip out. I don't want to, you know, risk it at this point. Uh, and there were a couple things that I was missing. Uh, specifically, at the end, there were these little cleats that slide on. One's called an S cleat and one's called a C cleat. And the S cleats allow the conduits to kind of sit up against each other and the C cleats are shaped like a C and slide along the sides to uh, lock them in place. The other thing that I uh, didn't own was one of these, these a little, uh, it's a little bar for bending the edges of things. So uh, I ordered a few things from Amazon, also tried to get stuff from Home Depot itself, but uh, they weren't, there were some things they just wouldn't deliver. Um, you know, little things, like I, I could get the C cleats, but not the S cleats or the other way around or whatever. So I ended up getting a piece of sheet metal and I'm just fabricating the pieces that I need. So if I am missing anything else, I can at least like make stuff, you know, using that to bend it and just some scrap. Uh, it was 10 bucks to get a one by two foot sheet of sheet metal and uh, you know, just gives me material if I need. At the moment, I'm just sliding this piece up upwards. I, I've got this half piece uh, attached to the wall with screws and I put uh, some of this tape over them and got it nice and pushed down because the air is going to be flying over that. And now I just ran down to grab my gloves because it's sharp and I'm trying to slide this thing upwards and it's giving me trouble up there. I don't know. I should probably run upstairs and see if it's hanging up on something. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to get it up about a foot, attach that to this guy, and then this piece behind you is going to. Uh, slide in and click on. And at that point, once I get it all taped, get all the seams taped, this area should be set so when the plumber doesn't show up in about a week when he said that he was going to show up, <laughs> the area is at least 100% ready for him. So, uh, so that's where things are. It's a little... I've lost a little bit of energy on the project just because it's... I mean the whole project's been like pulling teeth but now it's... Things are up in the air about like you know exactly what the future is going to be the next several months, uh, and I'm hoping that I can just keep moving and keep doing at least some stuff. But you know, pretty much all my contractors are, you know, running scared from coronavirus or have some weird disease or otherwise. But uh, like I said yesterday, as long as I can keep doing stuff, I'll feel like I'm not wasting my time. That's it. Thanks for watching.